Move up, move up, move up, and strike, strike, strike. Show me your hands! Turn the car off now! Stand the engine up! Do it now! Shots were fired towards a playground with children at play. It was a brutal, arrogant offence committed by those who were determined to cause harm in the most serious of circumstances. It was clear from the outset that the investigation was going to be complicated. Uh, the offenders had taken great steps to disguise the identity of the vehicle and of themselves. They quickly disposed of evidence, including the firearms and things such as mobile telephones. There were no eyewitnesses at the scene who would identify those responsible. So it was a technical and painstaking investigation. Specialist CCTV investigation team recovered and viewed over 2,000 hours of CCTV footage, it was combined with several thousand lines of telecommunications data to identify telephones belonging to those responsible. When combined with forensic evidence from some advanced techniques that we employed around the ammunition left at the scene and some more traditional witness evidence, it formed a clear picture that those responsible were Kian Dernin, Martino D'Souza and Tyreek McIntosh. Oh, no! Stand the engine off! Do it now! Get your belt off! Get your belt off! What's your Come name? On. Come here, walk down the stairs! Pause ID. Pause ID. Pause ID. Come towards me! Stay there. Do, do not turn around. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. You're under arrest under suspicion of attempted murder. Okay? You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence. If you do not mention one question, something that you later rely on in court. Any firearms related crime, firearms discharges, particularly those which cause injury, will be tr dealt with with the utmost seriousness by Westmans Police. We have a new structure around our major crime investigation teams which allows for the enhanced deployment of resource into those investigations which require it. So the offenders responsible for this matter have caused devastation to two families, they've shocked an entire community, their actions are wholly unacceptable, completely dangerous in a public space and can never be accepted. The only solution I believe are lengthy prison terms to afford the public the protection they need from these dangerous individuals.